Non-communicable diseases are very important at this stage because they kill so many people, especially the people, the younger people before the age of 60. Those are the people who are at their productive years of life, and especially the poor people. The most important thing is that it affects the poor, but it also makes them more poor. Once you're diagnosed with non-communicable disease, you become more poor because you're going to be absent from work, you lose a salary, and the family member may die. If a family member dies, the children are going to be suffering because they are losing a father or a mother, and they go into poverty. In South Africa, the most problem that we have is obesity. We are considered the third fattest in the world, which is really, really a problem. But we have both undernutrition in children, mostly standing because of chronic poverty. And then we've got overweight or obesity among children as well as in adults. And obesity is considered the risk factor for diabetes and for hypertension. So we are really, really concerned. And for, and for other cancers as well. So we are really concerned about that. What was happening is that people come to the clinic or the health facility once they have the pain to get treatment and they are being instructed to take tablets and to modify their lifestyle. But they go back to the same environment to the, all the risk factors that you know put them at risk anyway. So now we have just started to develop uh, interventions like I'm in one of the lifestyle modification group who are working on that, working at the schools, try to educate children on um, adoption of healthy lifestyle, focusing on physical activity and increasing their physical activity and to make healthy choices about diet. We're working with the schools, with the teachers. Another group is working at the workplace to try and, and, and promote healthy eating, increase physical activity. Because people spend most, of, spend most of their time at work. So what is happening now, there is a move from the department to train and utilize community health workers. These are lay people, lay women who live within the community, just to use them to be able, able to uh, identify people at risk and bring them to the treatment, to, to teach them about exercises, about behavior modification, and then if they're at risk, and then they bring them for treatment. Otherwise, the system is overcrowded, there are shortage of medication, people just lose hope and they just don't utilize the health services as it is. And some of them, they even rely to traditional healers. And people don't understand, you know, what are these diseases because some of them haven't seen anybody dying from them. It's different from other conditions because there is no pain. You have pain when it's, it's very late. The challenges that we have with uh, people changing their behavior, for example, if we tell them about you know, modifying their behavior and cut down on fat and eat a, a lot of fruit and vegetables, one of the things they will say, you know, when we grew up, we used to see these things advertised on TV. We didn't have money. Now we've moved from the rural areas, we're in the urban areas, and we have a little bit of money, and we buy this thing, and you tell us we can't have this. So, so what's the problem? And some of them, they will even say, I eat healthy today, tomorrow I'm knocked down by the car, and I die. So when I'm going to enjoy themselves? So people don't have the hope of living, you know, for future. And another thing, healthy food is expensive. So it's very difficult for them to buy healthy food. Fruits and vegetables in the township are not easily accessible. People have to spend money to get onto a taxi or onto a bus to go to the su supermarket where they can buy healthy food. So those are all the challenges that we're faced with. People are not growing their own food because there is overcrowding in the city. There is lack of space. So they rely on bought food. But the people that I'm working with were trying to encourage them to have box vegetables so that they can at least get a little bit of vegetable from there. And we have got many strict vendors in the townships and they sell unhealthy meat. They are trying to make the ends meet, you know. It's for business. And people are here because they could buy on debt, the credit, and then they pay at the end of the month so that they can survive. So those are, those are all the challenges that we have. South Africa is still going to struggle a lot, but we have a hope that with the younger generation things will change. Uh, for now, it's a struggle, 
the resources are not there, but because the government has taken this forward after the UN summit, we hope that we'll get where we're supposed to be.